is where I play for the New York Gauchos. He can do a little bit of everything. Likes to be the life of the party, who was the leader of the team. Had a canny pepper personality. And the players on the team, they got along with each other. He'll definitely have some choice words. Coach Teal, he'll always crack jokes. Audience, I'm your host, Sylvie EQ. We're gonna show you game tape live. I mentioned that I played for the New York Impact with my dad during the winter time. And then the summertime is where I played for the New York Gauchos. One of the famous grassroots AU programs from New York City, located in the Bronx. We did have a couple of NBA players that played with us. We talk about preparation with games and freedom. So this is the early to mid 2000s with the R&B. We're playing all radio hits on repeat and rap. A lot of Lil Wayne, a lot of Rick Ross. Drake was a budding star. When you listen to hype music, it gets you loose before the game. So I'm going into battle hype. All I gotta say to the other team, it's gonna be a long day for you. To simplify this story, we have the trio. I grew up with them on the court. Carbon, Jet, and Swiss did a little bit of scouting report for you guys. Personality wise, we have the different menu flavors. Jet had a canny pepper personality, the point guard. Very high energy, intense, aggressive, Swiss. On the other hand, he was more laid back. He could do a little bit of everything. Like to be the life of the party. Outgoing ginger. So outgoing personality, two or three, he could shoot the ball. Carbon, a slasher, get to the basket who was the leader of the team, more like a three. He was more of a relaxed mango. I mean, I, I could talk spicy, but I was more of the reserve and laid back personality. Jet, Carbon, and Swiss, they hung out together. Because I didn't play with them during the winter time and only the summertime, we grew apart. But of course, when we stepped on the court, it's like we never left. The style of play, score, set up the pressure, 2-2-1, two, two, after every made basket. In Gaucho's gym, literally an NBA court. Running, trapping, fast break, you have to definitely be in shape in order to play. I go in the game was to shoot threes and get buckets. Once in a while, I have to bring up the ball. This team is very selfless. Whoever's open got the ball. There was no egos. Then our coach that coaches us on the sideline, Coach Teal, he always crack jokes. So in the huddle with Coach Teal, he challenges his players. Or if you're not playing up to your capability, everybody's around in that huddle. It's more like a one-on-one -on -one and everybody else is looking on, seeing what you're about to do after this timeout. For example, if you're one of our best defenders and the other team's best player is destroying you, he'll say, yo, you gonna let so-and-so destroy you like that? I thought you were our best player. He'll definitely have some choice words, but that was the gist of it. So when you go back after that timeout, you motivated to shut that person down from scoring again. We'll go away to trips. Announcers like to say, we just played the right way and all we did was just win. Our main two was going to Baltimore, Maryland, the LeBron James tournament, and Coach Tails. Red and butter was the 2-2-1 or man-to-man. -man. And the players on the team, they got along with each other. With the Gauchos, it was a more well-rounded team. And it wasn't one person or two people that you could key on. So when we off the court, it's more like rap battle. Where fun and games, we joke on the clothes that we were wearing. Crooked teeth, if you had stink breath. And especially being raised in New York City, the number one popular choice was hairline. You gotta make sure that the front is a straight line. Conversations of girls. And the thing about this team was everybody went division one. It was my choice to go to division two. As far as preference of team, 
At the end of the day, it's about your performance on the court. It's whatever role I was put in, I just try to be the best in that given situation. Audience, I want to thank you guys for listening to the BS, the backstory. To all my family, friends, new subscribers, I know you out there. Walk easy.